When I started buying music, it was, um, I bought CDs actually. I started buying CDs, a lot of hip hop stuff. And then when I started buying records, it was a lot of drum and bass. I think some of the first records I seriously bought that I still stick with me to this day are like Chicago House records. One is that's really important to me the Many Shades of Casual, the casual compilation that Derek Carter comped in 1996, and some stuff like Reggie Hall, Chicago House stuff, DJ Sneak, DJ Tonka. DJ Scratching on TV. That's the first thing where I was like, okay, this is crazy. And then um, it's a disco house. People of, I have a friend who gave me his mixtapes, and then I was like, oh yeah, this is cool. But I think it's really the first foundation is from hip hop DJs. Even though, I mean, I know how to backspin, but I don't know shit about scratching. It's weird. I don't know, probably seven years ago, really. I mean, I am. When I was about 20, 21, 22, I bought an MPC, and so I sampled a lot. But that's not really the same with editing, and I'm, I would say I started editing seven years ago. Actually, um, the Rolling Stones edit I released was one of my first edits. Oh. Basically, there's one label that you don't know about and that I won't shout about because it's... Um, when Lumberjack is a bootleg label, the other thing is even more bootleggy. y um, Basically, it's, Lumberjack is about edits, it's about disco, it's about Chicago, it's about focusing more on the merit of the original thing, even though that might shift a little bit. And Intimate Friends is about original productions. It's about, I mean, yeah, we do cover versions, but it's all original. It's not uh, edits. That's the main difference. Something coming out right now on the label we don't talk about. Then Intimate Friends, my next release, doing it with remixes from Noema and Enray AK. That's hitting in about three to four weeks. That's quite exciting for me and it's, my song is a reggae song, basically. But if you listen to Buddy to Buddy, so I'm not stuck to form it. And then we have Inkswell coming up on Lumberjacks. Actually, on my wall at home, I have such a list of artists who I'm working with projects on. So it's seven, eight things. It's just um, whatever is really finished comes out next. It's one of the major addresses for soulful music in probably in the world such a renowned address, so even 10 years ago when I was looking uh, at parties and stuff and saw what's happening here, it's, it sounded always sick and it's uh, the DJs who are playing here, it's always nice and having played here myself, um, it's just a very good address for soulful music. Come on, Nobody